We're joined by uh, Laurie, the head franchisee from McDonald's here in Ballarat. What an announcement to make uh, so close to the start of the season, mate. Exo very exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Look, we've, um, we've had a, a proud association with the uh, BFL over the past five years, and uh, we're certainly very proud to be uh, an ongoing uh, partner with uh, BFL and, uh, for, over the next five years. So, uh, no, we think it's going to be terrific. How important is it from the interest from you guys to participate in such a, a, a growing sport in the region? Yeah, look, I mean, we're, we sort of always believe in you know contributing or, uh, to um, to um, organisations such as the BFL in, in, in the communities that we operate in, and uh, look, it's a great fit for us. You know, we're supporting not only uh, junior uh, football, but uh, girls, boys, uh, right up to the senior. Um, netball as well, so it's a great fit for McDonald's and we're, one we're uh, looking forward to. Women's football is certainly a big thing at the moment and, and a great thing for you guys to be attached to that as well as that continues to grow incredible throughout the community. Absolutely, and the uh, women's sport is it's, it's growing, uh, you know, football particularly and uh, like I said we're, we're really pleased to be uh, a part of that, uh, that, uh, that growth. We appreciate your time mate and appreciate the support you show us in the uh, Ballarat Football Netball League. Thank you very much, glad to be a part of it. We're here with the chairman of the, uh, the Ballarat Football Netball League, Wayne Baker. Thanks for joining us, mate. Uh, magnificent announcement, isn't it? Uh, look, it's a great announcement. It's, uh, it's something that's just grown from uh, five years ago and it, it gives us some stability for the next five years. Um, the team at McDonald's uh, have a real understanding of what football netball is all about. And uh, in talks with Laurie just this afternoon, he, he's wanting to see this agreement grow. And as the sport changes and it needs, he's willing to accommodate that. So it's a fantastic uh, effort from McDonald's and Laurie and his team to, to be supportive of sport as they are. Let's rewind back five years ago, mate, when you were on the verge of signing that first deal. What was the thing that sort of stood out from Ballarat McDonald's that encouraged you guys to, uh, to work together? Well, that, that was in the, in the juniors, and I think it was just their understanding of junior philosophy in sport yep. and uh, their willingness to, to, to not only... Um, foster football and netball but a number of sports in, in the junior arena uh, it's just a community effort and it's so important for young people uh, to have those sporting contacts and uh, McDonald's understood that and they understand the, to follow it through too, it's not just to say look we've done a great job here yep. uh, they're, they're following it through into senior footy as well and netball which is fantastic So it was no surprise uh, when, when the opportunity was there to work with them again? Uh, look, <laughs> to say it was no surprise I, We've worked hard, Nunny's worked hard to, to do it. Uh, no, it's not a real surprise that they're, they're backing us, but uh, uh, to the extent they're backing us is really a pleasant surprise. And, and the way that they're looking to the future, uh, look, the Ballarat Football League hasn't had an organisation that's willing to look so far forward and, and support our games. Well, we appreciate your time here, Wayne, and, uh, and congratulations on, on the team on uh, forming a great partnership, but uh, will hopefully last longer be on in the next five years. Let's see how we go. Thank you. We're here with Georgia Can from, uh, from Sebastopol. Uh, certainly a fantastic uh, announcement here from McDonald's. Yeah, it's great to have McDonald's sign on as a sponsor for the next five years. I think it's really important for our league um, and for the clubs within the league uh, to know that we can go out there and do the things that we love to do and play our sport on the weekends um, and have their support behind us, so it's fantastic. And what makes it more exciting as well is it is a five-year deal, which means it's a, it's a long-term deal to ensure that longer support. Yeah, I think, look, it's, it's nice for um, the BFL to know that they've got that stability and also for the players that are playing in the league to know that you know that that's going to be around and it, it gives us a certainty that we can stick around and play for that long which is awesome. Now you guys are looking to atone from last year's uh, finals defeat, how are you guys set for this year? Yep we're really excited we announced our teams last night and um, we've announced the return of Erin um, Ferns and, and Stacey Ray who was Stacey Wood who are four-time premiership players with Sebastian in the A-grade netball so it's a great signing and uh, possibly a couple more to come which will uh, keep under wraps until then but we, we can't wait for the season to start. Thanks for joining us Georgia and all the best for Sebastopol and you guys in the season. Thanks a lot, cheers. We're joined by uh, Lucas Anderson from Lake Windaree, uh, an exciting announcement here from McDonald's. Yeah, it's great news uh, with Macca signing on for the next five years. Obviously it's uh, good for the club, with uh, for the league, sorry, with the the uh, stability, um, all the clubs uh, get sponsored by them as well. So yeah, it's just good knowing that the league is um, supporting everyone, and yeah, it's just a great result for the league. How important is it to have such a great franchise uh, having such a big influence in the local community? Yeah, it's great. Obviously, Mac is a very big franchise, as you said, and um, yeah, having that support from them and um, the local 
local owners, uh, which is great as well. So um, it's just, yeah, the league is moving bigger and stronger and um, obviously that's a great sign from now. How were the Lakers travelling uh, after trying to recover from that prelim loss last year, mate? Yeah, obviously it was, it was a tough tough loss to, uh, to take. Um, but I think with the list we've got, um, we've recruited a few blokes, which is great, but the main one is we've retained near on everyone, um, bar a couple. So if we can keep everyone on the park um, with a bit of luck and, uh, yeah, with the players we've brought in from out of leagues who are very promising, I reckon, um, yeah, we're going to set our standards pretty high. So um, it's been, pre-season has been very strong so far and everyone's very fit. So, yeah, we can't wait to get into it in round one against Redam. Sensational, Lucas. We appreciate your time, mate, and we look forward to seeing you throughout the season. All right, thank you.